Every year, billions of plastic pipes are produced carrying water, gas, and waste through cities, homes, and industries across the planet. But behind these simple-looking tubes lies one of the most efficient and high-temperature manufacturing processes in modern industry. From raw polymers to smooth, durable pipelines that can last for decades, every pipe begins its life as tiny plastic pellets. How do these small grains transform into the massive networks that keep our world flowing? Today, we'll take you inside factories to witness how plastic pipes are made from polymer to plumbing. Every plastic pipe begins as hydrocarbons produced in crude oil and natural gas fields. Petrochemical plants fractionate crude to extract monomers such as ethylene and propylene, the essential building blocks for pipe resins. These monomers feed continuous polymerization units that operate around the clock to meet global demand. Regions with abundant feedstock, Middle East, United States, China, host large complexes producing polymer at scale. Feedstock availability and transportation costs directly influence global pipe manufacturing capacity and downstream pricing. This upstream chemistry therefore determines who can competitively produce pipes at scale. In polymer reactors, ethylene and propylene undergo controlled chain growth reactions to form long molecular polymers. Producers select catalyst systems, Ziegler natta, metallocene, or other chemistries and tune temperature, pressure, and residence time to control molecular weight distribution and branching. These parameters determine tensile strength, environmental stress cracking resistance, thermal behavior, and processability on extrusion lines. Accurate monitoring and closed-loop control systems reduce batch-to-batch -batch variation. By adjusting polymer microstructure, manufacturers create distinct grades, HDPE, PPC, engineered for the mechanical and chemical demands of specific pipe applications. After polymerization, molten resin is extruded into continuous strands, cooled in water baths, and pelletized to produce uniform feedstock beads typically 2 to 4 millimeters in diameter. Pelletizing standardizes melt flow and simplifies logistics across global supply chains, enabling consistent feeding into production lines. During compounding, formulators add stabilizers, UV inhibitors, antioxidants, colorants, and impact modifiers to meet application-specific standards for potable water, sewer, and gas distribution. Each pellet batch ships with technical data sheets specifying density, melt flow index, and additive content, so pipe manufacturers can match feedstock to product requirements. At the pipe plant, pellets are stored in climate-controlled silos and gravity or vacuum fed into hopper feeders that meter material into high torque extrusion screws, barrel temperature profiles, screw geometry, and screw speed are tuned to melt and homogenize the polymer while minimizing shear degradation. Molten polymer is forced through precision dies that set pipe diameter and wall thickness, then passes through vacuum calibration and controlled cooling tanks to lock dimensions and surface finish. Inline sensors monitor pressure, torque, and viscosity to detect deviations and trigger real-time adjustments that prevent defects. Quality assurance begins at incoming inspection. Laboratories test melt flow index, density, and contaminant levels and issue certificates of analysis for each lot. During extrusion, non-destructive gauges continuously measure wall thickness, diameter, and ovality, while acoustic or ultrasonic checks detect voids or inclusions. Periodic mechanical tests verify tensile strength, elongation at break, impact resistance, and hydrostatic performance under pressure and temperature cycling. Each production run receives a traceable lot number. ISO and ASTM certifications support compliance, and scrap material is recycled with records maintained for audits and customer traceability systems. Once the polymer pellets enter the extrusion line, precision control becomes critical. The screw conveys and compresses the molten resin through a heating barrel divided into multiple temperature zones, ensuring gradual melting without overheating. At the end of the screw, a breaker plate filters impurities, creating consistent flow into the die. 
This process forms the initial pipe shape. Every variable from temperature gradient to screw RPM affects dimensional accuracy, surface finish, and mechanical performance. Even slight fluctuations can result in warping bubbles or inconsistent pipe thickness. The molten polymer exits through a precision engineered die that determines pipe diameter and wall profile. Dies are custom designed for each pipe specification, accounting for resin viscosity velocity, extrusion pressure, and cooling speed. Calibration sleeves positioned immediately after the die stabilize the pipe shape as it enters a vacuum tank. The vacuum pulls the pipe against internal sizing rings, ensuring perfect roundness. This balance of internal pressure melt temperature and die geometry defines pipe uniformity. Consistent pressure differentials maintain structural integrity as the pipe transitions from molten to semi-solid state. Inside the cooling tank, the newly formed pipe travels through a series of water baths or spray chambers that progressively reduce temperature. Cooling must occur uniformly. Rapid chilling can introduce internal stresses or distort dimensions. Operators carefully control water temperature, flow rate, and pipeline speed to avoid deformation. Some factories employ dual-zone cooling systems with primary vacuum tanks for sizing and secondary immersion baths for stabilization. Automated feedback loops link temperature sensors to pump systems, maintaining precise conditions to ensure dimensional consistency and mechanical reliability of the pipe. After cooling, the pipe passes through haul-off units equipped with rubber or caterpillar belts that maintain constant line speed, preventing stretching or compression. Downstream, non-contact laser sensors measure diameter, wall thickness, and ovality hundreds of times per second. Data streams are logged into quality databases for traceability. Any deviation triggers automatic alarm signals, allowing operators to adjust die pressure or cooling rate immediately. Maintaining a steady haul-off speed ensures consistent pipe weight per meter and guarantees that each section meets specifications before cutting or coiling for storage. Once the extrusion and cooling stages stabilize, the pipe moves to the cutting section, where automated saws or planetary cutters trim it to standard lengths, typically three to six meters depending on application. The cutting process must synchronize perfectly with the haul-off speed to prevent distortion or burrs at the edges. Cut pipes fall onto conveyors for visual inspection. Workers verify smooth ends, correct dimensions, and uniform surface gloss. Samples undergo burst pressure and dimensional tests before being transferred to curing or printing stations for final product marking. After cutting, each pipe advances to the marking station where identification data is printed directly onto its surface. High-speed inkjet printers apply continuous codes containing manufacturer name, material type, size, pressure rating, and production date. The ink must adhere to polymer surfaces that are still slightly warm, requiring UV curable or solvent-based formulations. Line sensors ensure text spacing remains consistent. Even at high output speeds, accurate labeling is vital not only for branding, but also for compliance with international standards governing traceability and product certification in global trade. Immediately after printing, the pipes pass through an automated inspection tunnel equipped with cameras and optical sensors. These systems capture images of every section to detect surface flaws, cracks, and discolorations invisible to the human eye. Defective pipes are flagged and diverted to a separate lane for manual recheck or recycling. Dimensional scanners further verify wall thickness, diameter, and roundness. This integration of machine vision and laser measurement ensures that every product leaving the line meets tolerance requirements, preventing costly rejections or failures once installed in the field. Once inspection is complete, the pipes 
move to the mechanical testing area. Here, random samples from each batch undergo pressure, tensile, and impact tests. Hydrostatic pressure testing simulates long-term water or gas pressure to confirm durability under real conditions. Each pipe section is sealed, filled with water, and pressurized to several times its rated capacity. Any deformation, blister, or microcrack causes automatic failure. This quality control step validates resin composition, extrusion precision, and cooling uniformity, ensuring every pipe can withstand decades of continuous service without failure. Approved pipes proceed to the packaging section, where automated systems align and bundle them into standard stacks. Robotic arms arrange pipes according to size and diameter, applying protective plastic wrap or woven straps to prevent surface abrasion during shipping. Barcode labels and QR codes are added for inventory tracking. In some factories, bundles are shrink-wrapped to protect against moisture and UV damage. Efficient packaging allows easier handling, transport, and storage, while ensuring that every product reaches distributors and contractors in pristine, ready-to-install condition. Finally, the completed bundles are transferred to logistics areas for storage and distribution. Warehouses use automated conveyors, forklifts, and tracking systems to manage outgoing shipments. Each lot number corresponds to a full digital record of extrusion conditions, inspection data, and operator logs. This traceability guarantees accountability from raw material to final delivery. Before dispatch, supervisors perform random rechecks, confirming dimensions and labeling accuracy. With everything verified, the pipes are loaded onto trucks or containers, marking the final step in the factory's continuous production cycle. From the factory floor, these bundled plastic pipes travel across continents. Massive cargo trucks haul them to seaports, where cranes load stacks into steel shipping containers bound for construction hubs worldwide. Some will end up in rural irrigation systems, others buried beneath megacities to transport gas, sewage, or drinking water, their journey is long, yet their weight and corrosion resistance make them the preferred choice over metal alternatives. Each shipment carries the promise of modern infrastructure, lightweight, durable, and engineered to last for generations. In developing regions, plastic pipes play a crucial role in expanding clean water access. Flexible polyethylene pipes snake through mountains and deserts, supplying remote villages. Engineers favor them because they're easy to install. No welding, no rust, and fewer leaks. In urban areas, PVC and HDPE lines form underground grids for sewage, telecom conduits, and storm drainage. Despite being lightweight, they endure decades of pressure and chemical exposure. Behind every water faucet, sprinkler, or factory drain, these silent tubes sustain the pulse of civilization. Recycling also plays a growing role in modern pipe manufacturing. Defective sections and leftover trimmings are ground back into pellets, blended with virgin resin, and re-extruded for non-pressurized applications. This closed-loop approach minimizes waste and support sustainability goals. Some companies even collect used pipes from demolition sites, converting old infrastructure into new. With the global demand for eco-friendly materials increasing yearly, factories now balance performance with responsibility, transforming an industry once dependent on petrochemicals into one that adapts to environmental challenges ahead. But challenges remain. Extreme heat, UV exposure, and poor installation can shorten pipe lifespan. Substandard factories may skip quality checks, flooding markets with cheaper, brittle products that fail under pressure. To counter this, certified producers invest in better extrusion control, robotic inspection, and international testing standards. Every meter of pipe must prove it deserves its place beneath our cities and homes. Behind each product's smooth finish lies a world of engineering precision an invisible network that keeps modern life flowing safely and efficiently. From humble plastic pellets to massive underground networks, this is how plastic pipes shape the backbone of civilization. The next time you turn on a tap, remember the complex journey 
that made it possible. Factories, machines, and people all working together to keep the world running. Which industrial process do you think deserves to be explored next? Comment your thoughts below. Share this video with a curious friend. And don't forget to subscribe for more deep dives into how the world's most essential materials are made.